What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make the green and black outfit that you do see in the thumbnail. But first I'm going to show you on how to get the black joggers. So to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center and request your mobile operation center. After you've done this, you can then just hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will probably spawn right here. But whenever your MOC does spawn in, you're then just going to want to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit run on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. When you have made it to the clothing store and you are wearing the black joggers outfit, go over here to the top section, scroll down to vest, which will be on slot 47, and you're going to equip the black vest, which will be on slot 38. After you do equip the black vest, go on and back out of vest, go to vest shirts on slot 48, and equip the white band vest shirt, which is on slot 10. If you guys don't use the white band vest shirt, then you guys can't get the invisible arms, but after you do equip the vest and the vest shirt, you can then just back out of the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we're already the black joggers. Go over here to your accessories, go to gloves on slot seven and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. When you have equipped the black woolen gloves, you can then just back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, go to sneakers, which will be on slot two and look for the green plain high tops on slot six. When you have equipped the green plain high tops, that will be all for the accessories for your clothing now, if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take that off your character. After you do take off your head accessories, this is what your outfit will look like so far. Once your outfit does look like this, you can then head up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, back out your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13 and scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, you can then back out of the front counter and we're just going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. When you do make it to a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. You're going to run past the telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope to tell you that you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved earlier, which will look like this. After you do equip that outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does merge with the outfit just like this. All you want to do now is just head to a gun store. Whenever you are at a gun store, go over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit once again on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, back out of the tops. Now we're going to start up a job, so just hit pause, go to online, 
click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar created, and then you're gonna look for missions, click on missions, and start up the mission that's called a Titan of a job. When you are in the mission, you should see that your arms are invisible, just like this. Now you can walk back over here to the tops, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved the outfit, back out of the tops again. Now just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So when you load back into a session, you will see that your arms are visible now. All you want to do is run back inside the gun store and you're going to want to equip an outfit that has a belt. So if you already have a saved outfit that has like a cop belt or a paramedic belt, you guys can equip one of those outfits through your interaction menu. If you don't, you can go over here to the outfits and then go to the diamond casino heist, which will be on slot 50. And if you guys go to group A sex gear, which is on slot 20, you can equip one of these outfits that has this type of belt. If you don't like this belt, you can then back out and go to maintenance, which will be on slot 18 and equip one of these outfits with this type of belt. If you for some reason don't have this or don't have it unlocked, you can then back out and go to prison guards, which will be on slot 15 and equip one of these outfits with this type of belt. So just equip one of those three outfits with those three different type of belts. But if you already do have an outfit saved with a, like a cop belt or a paramedic belt, you can go ahead and equip that outfit, which I'm going to do, which is gonna be this outfit with a cop belt. Now we're gonna do the merge glitch. So if you guys wanna do it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can bookmark the job and do that. But for me, I'm gonna do the apartment merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. When you get to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board. And out of all the five heists, start up the first one that's called Fleek a job. And the first job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called scope out. After you complete the scope out mission, the second job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called Kuruma. Once you have the Kuruma job available, just launch that mission. Now that you're in here where it shows your heist clothing, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. After you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can confirm your settings and then invite whoever you want, like a random or a friend. And when someone does join, just launch the job. After you load into here where it does show your owned outfits, go ahead and scroll to the slot to where you did save the outfit. When your outfit looks like this, then just hit ready to play. Now that you have fully loaded into the job, all you need to do now is pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. When you are back in a public session, you're gonna to wanna to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, but once you do find a car, go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. Now pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, now go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the belt and your invisible arms merge together just like this and you guys most of your invisible arms will turn into half invisible arms just like this now that your arms look like this we're going to go and do the final component which is going to be the colored helmet so just go over here to the clothing store now that you have made it to the clothing store just in case something does happen and you guys don't lose any components you're just going to want to save the outfit on any slot that you want after you do save the outfit we can now do the helmet so just go over here to the hats you're then just going to go to helmets, which will be right up here on slot 16 and look for the gray open face helmet. You're going to want to make sure you buy this helmet, which will be right here on slot 76. After you do buy the gray open face helmet, you can then back out of helmets, go to combat helmets on slot 22 and scroll down until you do find the zebra quad lens on slot 24. After you've equipped the zebra quad lens back out of your back out of your hats, now, if your thermal does come on, just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, go to your helmets, and if you are on PlayStation, press square, or if you are on Xbox, just press X to deactivate the thermal like this. Now you can back out of your accessories, scroll down to bike helmets, and you're gonna scroll through that until you find the gray open face helmet. After you find the gray open face helmet, you're then just gonna wanna back out of your style, and now hover over style and get inside of a vehicle. So just any car, it doesn't matter. After you do get inside of a car, scroll up to Secure Serve CEO, click on it, then go to Management, then go to Style, and on your CEO style, scroll one time to the left, and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car, and you will see, if this does happen, where your helmet does come off, then that will keep happening, so all you need to do is restart your console. So, luckily you guys did save the alpha, so you guys don't have to alert, worry about losing anything, so I will get back to you when I do restart my game. Once you have restarted your game and you guys are back in a public session, you're now gonna wanna make sure you guys have everything you did have before. So if I pull up my interaction menu, go to style, 
My bike helmet will be set to the gray open face helmet, which is good. And we have the zebra quad lens on. So now all you want to do is hover over style on your interaction menu, get inside of a vehicle. Now scroll back up to secure serve CEO, click on that, go to management, go to style and on CEO style, scroll one time to the right and then one time to the left back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see the, that the zebra quad lens is now still on your character. Like last time it wasn't. All you need to do now is hold right on the D-pad and you'll see that your quad lens does turn green just like this. If you guys want your quad lens to go back down, hold right on your D-pad just like this and you will see that now your quad lens are down and they are still green. So for the final part, it's gonna be the body armor. Pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor, go to show armor and you're gonna to wanna to set it to the heavy armor, which is gonna be green, just like this. And if you are wondering what it does look like in the pause menu, here you guys go. Pretty cool green and black outfit for your male character. So that's pretty much it for your outfit. So now you can walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. Once you do save the outfit, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.